Hey everybody, I'm gonna give you another boxing tip video. Um, this is called a maze bag. Uh, this was one of my favorite bags when I was training boxing, um, just because I was I like to move a lot. It's very good. To, this is to help you learn how to slip, um, to work your combos and get the slipping in. So this bag usually it comes with just this chain. We had the chain attached to the ceiling that we hook it onto. Um, it's always good to do it in front of a mirror because it helps you see the bag and when you see me do it, I'm gonna, you'll understand why. Once you get really good with the bag, then um, you can start doing it without the mirror. But first, you always wanna start with the mirror. This bag, it looks like a speed bag, but it's filled with like sand or gravel sometimes. It depends on what you get, but it actually kind of hurts. When, you, when it hits you, like if it hits you in the head, it hurts. So, um, you know, it teaches you to slip. You really need to move out of the way. You don't wanna get hit, let this bag hit you. So, the way this is going to work, you'll ever, sometimes you see people in the gym that don't know how to use this bag, they're like punching it and stuff. That's not what it's for, it's just for slipping. So, I'm going to show the video where you slip, slip, right? We slip, we sit, slip, slip, sit. We always use our hands to block. And then when you get better with this, with this you start throwing punches. For today, I'm only going to show you one thing that's going to help you uh, get started on this bag. And then, I'll make a few other videos where I explain how to do different things. But this is one thing that you want to start with. So again. You start with the mirror, you make sure that however this bag is set up, you kind of want it so that it can hit you in the head. You don't want it too low, but because then it's going to make you sit lower than you really have to. So right now I have it set up, it's kind of like right, if you guys can see, like this is kind of how I have it set up. That's what I would recommend for you. Um, you don't want, again, you don't want it like this low either because it's going to make you slip more than you have to, okay? So this is just a good spot because I need to, I'm going to have to slip otherwise it's going to hit me in the head, okay? So, what we're gonna do to start, we stand so that I'm kinda like where my face is by the bag, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it forward like this. Now the bag is going to swing just like this, okay? I'm gonna be standing in the center and all we're gonna practice is sitting, okay? So all I want you guys to do is when the bag is coming, we sit, 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 sit. Then when you get more comfortable, you get your rhythm, sit. Maybe I slip a little bit, sit. Okay, so all we're gonna practice is just the sit right now. So I'm gonna stand here, push the bag, sit. I'm in my stance, watching the mirror. And the goal is, I want to try to sit almost like at the last second. I don't wanna like push it and I'm sitting and it's like that, I'm sitting and I'm like giving it way too much time to move, you know what I mean? So here, push, sit, sit. So now, you see how sometimes the bag, I push it straight and it starts moving a little bit. So I gotta move with it. If it's a bag, if I'm standing this way and the bag is starting to swing like that way on an angle, I have to turn and face the bag, okay? So depending on how you have it set up, sometimes it might swing differently. So again, just make sure you start with the mirror as you get comfortable with it. I can face away and I kinda get, you kinda get like the timing down of it. So I'm sitting, sitting, sitting. Sitting. And this is when you start getting a little better with it. You're just timing it. You kind of just get the timing down. And then little by little, it starts to swing less and less, obviously. So once it gets to the point where it's really not swinging anymore, maybe I want to swing a little more, I just give it a little tap. That's it. And I keep doing my thing. Okay, so hope this helps you guys. Um, you know, like I said, you want to start here. As you get more advanced, you can get it a little lower. It's going to make you sit lower, but you never want it too low. So if I were to change the angle, uh, put it like as low as it goes for me here, you'll excuse me because I'm short and can't reach. This is, I set it to that, it's like for my height. This is as low as it goes and this is where I would use it when I want to make sure I slip instead of sitting straight down. Start where it's here because you have more space so it's easier for you to learn. As you get better, around here is good. Lower than your shoulder, it's really pointless, okay? So this is a good angle for when you get better with it because it's gonna, because it's lower, I almost like have to move out of the way because now you can see it's a lot closer to me. You know, and again, this is when you get more comfortable with it, you get better, you move. Here you see it kind of like nicked me there. I slept a little wrong. So this is like where, when you get better, you put it here. When you're starting, you want it here, okay? Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna show you how to do a few more things.